good morning students uh, today we are going to learn properties of definite integrals very simple properties i told you in uh, last class that is integration a to b f f plus g of dx is integration a to b f of x plus integration a to b g of x dx or integration a to b f of f minus g of dx is equal to integration a to b f of x dx minus integration a to b g of x dx and last one integration a to b k into f of x dx is k outside integration a to b f of x dx these are the general properties that already we seen in the definite indefinite integral also the same properties for definite integrals but uh, definite integral properties are still uh, there are more number of properties and uh, using those properties we can solve integrals and so we can evaluate integrals so let us see one by one what are the those uh, um, properties of definite integrals so so this is my topic you will get five marks okay. properties of definite integrals you will get five marks from this topic so let us see what are the properties and how we solve the problems how you evaluate integrals by using these properties of definite integrals so there are many properties among them let us discuss few of them so these are the properties of definite integrals so as i told you integration of a to b f plus g of x dx is equal to integration a to b f of x dx plus integration a to b g of x dx and integration a to b f minus g of x dx is integration a to b f of x dx minus integration a to b g of x dx integration a to b k into f of x dx is k outside integration a to b f of x dx those are the properties already given in the previous class now the new properties what are the other properties of definite integral let us see one by one so this is adding uh, properties of definite integral you see the first one integration of a to b f of x dx is equal to integration a to b f of t dt so you see it is very easy the limits are same a to b and function is same f of x f of x dx and f of t dt only there is a change in variable by change in the variable there won't be any change in the value of integration that what is selling integration of a to b f of x dx is equal to integration of a to b f of t dt integration of a to b f of y dy or integration of a to b f of z dz there is no change by changing in the variable there is a no change in the value of different integral because after finding integration what we are going to do upper limit minus of lower limit as limits are same a to b a to b if the function is in terms of x or if the function is in terms of t or if the function is in terms of y or is a function is in terms of z everything you will get the same integration and the upper limit minus of lower limit gives the same equal answer so so the variable the this definite integral is doesn't depend on the what is a variable so integration a to b f of x dx is always is equal to integration a to b f of t dt so change in the variable definite definitely never changes the value of integration of definite integral are you getting guys so this is my first property of definite integral look at that so my what is the second property you see second property is integration a to b f of x dx is equal to minus of integration b to a f of x dx so you can easily once you know the fundamental theorem of integral calculus that gives answer in one very very easy you can imagine you can you can visualize it as it is true integration a to b is equal to integration minus b to a because integration of a to b means f of b minus f of a integration of b to a means f of a minus f of b if you multiply with minus that becomes f of b minus f of a so integration of always integration a to b f of x dx is minus of integration b to a f of x dx if you change the limits that is if you interchange lower and upper limits then the negative sign comes up that's it as i know so that is my second property so let me go to the third property what the third property says integration of a to a f of x dx 
is zero because upper limit is a and lower limit is zero a itself so if you after integration if you apply upper limit minus half lower limit uh, same minus same that is x minus x is always zero so integration a to a f of x dx is always zero that is my third property now go to the fourth property what the pro fourth property says integration a to b f of x dx is equal to integration a to c f of x dx plus integration c to b f of x dx where a less than c less than b so if a a and in between a and b if there is a c then you can write integration a to b can be written as integration of a to c plus integration of b to c that's it so integration a to c f of x dx plus integration b to c c to b f of x dx are you getting integration of a to b can be written as integration of a to c plus integration of c to b when c is in between a and b are you getting next one the fifth one is integration 0 to a f of x dx if lower limit is 0 if lower limit is 0 then integration 0 to a f of x dx is integration 0 to a f of a minus x dx we use it many times what is a a is a upper limit minus of x upper limit minus of x so integration 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integration 0 to a f of a minus x dx integration 0 to a f of a minus a x dx are you getting so lower limits must be 0 and upper limit is a constant a then integration 0 to a f of x dx equal to integration 0 to a f of a minus x dx and uh, next one integration minus a to a f of x dx this we use this fifth and six we use many times fifth and six problems we use many times integration minus a to a minus 2 plus minus 2 plus minus 2 plus integration minus a to a that is minus 2 plus is 2 times of integration 0 to a f of x dx when f is even function if f is a even function minus a to a can be written as 2 times of 0 to a and f is odd function then it is 0 so this is these are the properties of different integral look at once integration of a to b f of x dx is equal to integration of a to b f of t dt so the change in variable never changes the value of different integral that is the property number one number two is integration a to b f of x dx is minus integration b to a f of x dx so a to b can be written as b to a with negative sign so integration of a to b f of x dx is minus b to a f of x dx and the third one is integration a to a f of x dx a to a lower and upper limit same then it is zero and fourth one integration of a to b f of x dx where a less than c less than b so in between a and b if there is a c then you can write integration a to b can be written as a to integration a to c plus integration c to b and fifth one very important one fifth one and sixth one are important fifth one integration zero to a lower limit is always zero and upper limit is a constant a then integration zero to a f of x dx can be written as integration zero to a f of f of upper limit minus x we use this many times integration zero to a f of x dx is integration zero to a f of a minus x dx and the sixth one is integration minus a to a f of x dx is integration minus a to a remember it is from minus to plus minus a to a if f is even then two times of zero to a integration zero to a f of x dx and if f is odd then it is zero so we use these two formulas very very frequently in uh, problem solving so what is the fifth one integration 0 to a where 0 is a lower limit and a is upper limit which is a constant then integration 0 to a f of x dx is integration 0 to a f of upper limit minus x dx so at place of x you can write upper limit minus x that's it integration minus a to a f of x dx if f is even it is two terms of integration 0 to a f of x dx or it is 0 for f is odd that's it are you getting so this is uh, properties of different integrals properties of different integrals now let us see based on problems on properties yes this is a time to go for problems yes next another another 40 minutes what we are going to do 
minutes. Next 40 minutes we are going to only solve problems. Okay guys? Yes. Yes, the problems part. So remember the integral properties of definite integrals so that we can use them in solving problems. This is my first problem. Evaluate. First one, evaluate integration minus 2 to 2 x cube dx. Evaluate integration minus 2 to 2 x cube dx. x cube dx. x cube. What is x cube? It is an odd function. Once it is an odd function, then minus a to a f of x dx is 2 times of 0 to a if function is even. But is it is 0 if function is odd. Here the function is odd function. Therefore, since the function is odd function, the integral value is 0. Integration minus a to a f of x dx is 0 if f of x is odd function. Here minus 2 to 2 x cube dx integration minus 2 to 2 x cube dx where x cube is an odd function. Therefore, it is 0. Now, second problem, evaluate minus pi to plus pi x power of 6 into sin x dx. So, the limits you see minus pi to pi. The limits are minus pi to pi x power of 6 is a even function and sin x is a odd function. Even into odd is an odd, again odd function. So, x to the power of 6 into sin x is odd function. So, minus a to a integration minus a to a f of x dx equal 0 where f of x is odd function. Similarly, therefore, integration minus pi to pi x to the power of 6 into sin x dx is 0 since x to the power of 6 into sin x dx is odd function. Therefore, it is 0. So, are you getting? So, for odd functions from minus a to a, f of x dx is 0. If it all it is a even function, then minus a to a, f of x dx can be written as 2 times of 0 to a, f of x dx. 2 times of 0 to a, f of x dx you can write. Are you getting, guys? So, this is uh, uh, in case of odd function, such a type of problems comes for one mark in examination. So, I give an example because we have now one mark questions also. So, what is the simple property that integration minus a to a f of x dx is equal to 0 if f of x is odd function here x cube is odd function x power of 6 into sin x is also odd function since even into odd is odd. Yes, so let us go to the problems part, actual problems. These are the one mark questions. Uh, uh, how one mark questions are going to come, I want to show it. That's why I given these problems. But now let us move on to what the actual problems that comes under properties of different integrals. So this is my problem. So this is a problem. Many times it is repeated. 10 plus times it is repeatedly came for 5 marks. So damn surely you will get one problem for 5 marks in examination. So be careful guys and look at the problem. Now, third one. See, third problem. Show that integration 0 to pi by 2 sin x by sin x plus cos x dx is equal to pi by 4. Now you see. You have to show that value of this uh, uh, definite integral. Integration 0 to pi by 4 sin x by sin x plus cos x dx is. You have to show that it is pi by 4. It came at about 10 times in examination for 5 marks. So, how we are doing? Let us see how we are doing it. So, take, consider, let us take the given integral as i. Okay. Let us consider that. Let us take this given integral as a i. Because integral, first letter is i, I am saying the given integral as a i. So, what is that? That is i is equal to 0 to pi by 2 i is equal to 0 to pi by 2 sin x by sin x plus cos x dx. This is my equation number 1. So, what is equation 1? i is equal to integration 0 to pi by 2 sin x by sin x plus cos x dx. Okay. Now, what we are having is, we are having the property of definite integral. What it says, if lower limit is 0 and upper limit is constant. Here, lower limit is 0 and upper limit is pi by 2. So, integration 0 to a f of x dx can be written as integration 0 to a f of a minus x dx. That is, upper limit minus x dx. So, what is upper limit? Pi by 2. So, at place of x, 
write down pi by 2 minus x that is i is equal to integration 0 to pi by 2 sin of pi by 2 minus x by sin of pi by 2 minus x plus cos of pi by 2 minus x at place of x a minus x here a equal to pi by 2 so at place of x pi by 2 minus x sin 90 minus theta cos theta cos 90 minus theta sin theta therefore i is equal to integration 0 to pi by 2 cos x by cos x plus sin x are you getting sin 90 minus theta cos theta and cos 90 minus theta sin theta so i is equal to this is a second equation 0 to pi by 2 cos x by cos x plus sin x dx my second equation is this so now adding 1 and 2 equation 1 we have equation 2 we have so add equation 1 and equation 2 adding 1 and 2 we get the left hand side i plus i it is is equal to 0 to pi by 2 sin x by sin x plus cos x dx plus integration 0 to pi by 2 cos x by cos x plus sin x dx so to both the limits are same so 2i is equal to integration 0 to pi by 2 lcm sin x plus cos x and uh, in the numerator also sin x plus cos x so cancel numerator and denominator both are equal so you can cancel that is integration 0 to pi by 2 dx dx integration x upper limit minus half lower limit that is pi by 2 minus 0 2i is equal to pi by 2 i is equal to pi by 4 so the given integral i means integration 0 to pi by 2 sin x by sin x plus cos x dx is equal to pi by 4 so that is hence we proved integration 0 to pi by 2 sin x by sin x plus cos x dx is equal to pi by 4 so do you want to see again this is a problem given i am saying given integral as equation 1 and applying the formula integration lower limit 0 upper limit constant integration 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integration 0 to a f of a minus x dx therefore at place of x a minus x that is at place of x i am putting pi by 2 minus x but sin 90 minus t theta cos theta and cos 90 minus theta sin theta we got equation 2 adding equation 1 and equation 2 we l taking lcm and cancelling numerator and denominator we got 2 i is equal to pi by 2 and i is equal to pi by 4 so not only this results so let us wait for one minute here one one minute di discussion let us make here so integration 0 to pi by 2 sin x by sin x plus cos x dx is equal to pi by 4 you got if it is integration 0 to pi by 2 sin square by sin square x by sin square x plus cos square x then also you will get pi by 4 same procedure if it is sin cube x by sin cube x plus cos cube x then also same procedure if it is sin power of 20x by sin power of 20x plus cos power of 20x then also you will get pi by 4 so all types of problem if it is sin power of 1 by 2x that is root sin x by sin power of 1 by 2x plus cos power of 1 by 2x also it is pi by 4 so any powers of sin and cos x you will get same pi by 4 so like that you can write a number of problems once it is given sin x by sin x plus cos x sometimes it is given by sin power of 20x by sin power of 20x plus cos power of 20x some other time it is given sin power of 25x by sin power of 25x plus cos power of 25x like that uh, some other time it is given square root of sin x by square root of sin x plus square root of cos x in any way it is given the problem is same and procedure is same and answer is also same so any power of not only sin x any power of sin x and any power of cos x you take you apply the same procedure same pattern same steps then you will get pi by 4 is answer are you getting this is what i want to uh, add additionally is it clear so that's what i want to ask uh, that's it this is my first problem are you able to get it guys this is very simple problem and all all problems are also of same type you get uh, this is a problem we used the property integration 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integration 0 to a f of a minus x dx that's it equation 1 said integral first given integral i say I take it as a i and that is equation 1 after applying property again you got equation 2 adding equation 1 and 2 you got the answer that's it very simple and you will get 5 marks very very simple and you will get a 5 marks for this so shall we go to the next problem shall we go to the next problem s yes or no 
yes guys uh, now the next problem is evaluate evaluate integration 0 to 3 square root of x by square root of x plus square root of 3 minus x dx look at the problem by seeing the problem you have to guess that this problem can we we can do by using properties that what you have to do once you are able to identify as yes, these are the kind of problems that we can solve by using properties then it's okay so uh, see the problem again and again do the problem and again again so that your mind is able to identify yes this is a problem so you have to apply properties of different integral that's it so by saying itself your mind should catch that s yes, let us apply properties of different integral to evaluate so and so integral so in order to identify you have to look at the problem many times so write down look at the problems what are the types of problems by seeing itself you have to recognize your mind should be recognized that these are problems that you should uh, do by using properties of definite integrals yes so this is my next problem is evaluate integration 0 to 3 square root of x by square root of x plus square root of 3 minus x dx now in i is equal to integration 0 to 3 square root of x by square root of x plus square root of 3 minus x dx so given integral i am saying let us take that integral as i as first letter is i for integral so that is my first equation you got now you let us use the property what's the property you have to use is integration 0 to a integration 0 to a f of x dx is integration 0 to a f of a minus x dx integration 0 to a f of x dx is integration 0 to a f of a minus x dx lower limit must be 0 upper limit is constant so at place of x if you write upper limit minus x then also the integral never changes so i am applying upper limit 3 so at place of x 3 minus x so integration 0 to 3 square root of 3 minus x by square root of 3 minus x plus square root of 3 minus of 3 minus x plus 3 minus 3 cancel so what you will get uh, the integration 0 to 3 square root of 3 minus x by square root of x plus square root of 3 minus x this is equation 2 so, so given integral let i am saying it as i and after applying the property i am i am i am saying it is equation 2 so equation 1 we got and equation 2 we got you see as it is in the first first example what i we did so we previous problem how we did same thing we are doing so equation 1 we got equation 2 we got what to do next what to do next guys you have to add equation 1 and equation 2 so let us add equation 1 and equation 2 guys so equation 1 plus equation 2 i plus i 2i in lhs and rhs is integration 0 to 3 square root of x by square root of x plus square root of 3 minus x dx plus integration 0 to 3 square root of 3 minus x by square root of x plus square root of 3 minus x dx take lcm lcm both the denominators are same you will get lcm integration 0 to 3 square root x plus square root of 3 minus x by square root of x plus square root of 3 minus x dx numerator and denominator same cancel integration of dx is x x from 3 to 0 that is upper limit minus of lower limit 3 minus 0 is 3 so 2i is equal to 3 and i is equal to 3 by 2 so the value of given integral given integral we said it as a i therefore the i is equal to that is a value of given integral is 3 by 2 is it clear guys so, so this is what the procedure we are doing so take the given integral as a i and apply the formula or a rule of property of definite integral what is that if lower limit is 0 and upper limit is constant that is integration 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integration 0 to a f of a minus x dx upper limit minus x dx that's it so uh, take it as a first integral as equation 1 after applying equation 2 add 1 plus 2 and simplify you get the answer that is given integral value i is equal to you got it as 3 by 2 are you getting this is 3 by 2 this is my second problem i'm getting so problems are very easy and you will get for 5 marks you will get all these are previous questions only whatever i am dealing all our previous questions
Okay. So, shall I move on? I think it's we have to go on. You see the next problem. Evaluate integration 0 to pi by 2 log of tan x dx. So, look at the problems. Look at the problems many number of times. So, by seeing the problem, oh yes, these problems we have to solve by properties of different integral. That we have to identify the problem. Identification of the problem is often. So, are you getting? So, the fifth one is evaluate integration 0 to pi by 2 log of tan x dx. Log of tan x dx. So, now, given integral, take it as i is equal to 0 to pi by 2 log of tan x dx. That is equation 1. As it is, every time we are doing it so given integral i am saying it as a i i am saying it as a i i is equal to integration 0 to pi by 2 log of tan x dx i is equal to integration 0 to pi by 2 log of tan x dx so i is equal to 0 to pi by 2 log of tan x dx now apply the property integration 0 to a f of x dx is integration 0 to a f of a minus x dx. Are you getting lower limit should be 0 and upper limit is some constant then integration 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integration 0 to a f of a minus x dx that is at place of x you have to write upper limit minus x dx then so at place of x I am writing pi by 2 minus x this since upper limit is pi by 2 after applying the property tan 90 minus theta is cast cot theta you know sin 90 minus theta cos theta tan 90 minus theta cot theta sec 90 minus theta cos theta and vice versa so tan 90 minus x pi by 2 minus x is cot x so my second equation is 0 to pi by 2 log of cot x takes I, I are you getting guys the given integral I am saying it as a i and then I am applying the property since lower limit of integration is 0 and upper limit of integration is a constant pi by 2 just at place of x write down upper limit minus x then simplify so that is we got equation 1 and equation 2 what to do next what to do next you have to add equation 1 and equation 2 equation 1 plus equation 2 left side i plus i i plus i is i plus i is 2i and right hand side integration 0 to pi by 2 log of tan x dx plus integration 0 to pi by 2 log of cot x dx so both the integrations are same integration 0 to pi by 2 log tan x plus log cot x log a plus log b is log a into b log a in, log a plus log b is equal to this is a property of logarithms you have to know i didn't mention here so but i am saying it uh, what is that Integ log uh, log a plus log b is equal to log a into b so your log tan x plus log cot x therefore log of tan x into cot x tan x is sine by cos and cos a cot x is cos by sine therefore sine and sine cancel cos and cos cancel so tan x into cot x is always one cot x is a reciprocal of tan x if cot x equal to 1 by tan x tan tan cancel it is 1 so log of tan x into cot x tan x into cot x is 1 here tan x into cot x is 1 therefore this is 1 that is log 1 log 1 means uh, log 1 uh, value of log 1 is 0 so integration of 0 into dx that is integration of 0 is a constant but upper limit minus of lower limit that is constant minus constant 0 so what you got 2i is equal to 0 as log 1 is 0 so 2i is equal to you got 0 2i is equal to 0 i is equal to i is equal to 0 by 2 that is again 0 so integral value is 0 so given integral 0 to pi by 2 log of tan x dx is 0 are you able to get it guys so this is a problem all these are previous questions so previously we got it is uh, first problem what you got here uh, integration 0 to pi by 2 sin x by sin x plus cos x dx is pi by 4 that is upper limit by 2 here also integration 0 to 3 square root of x by square root of x plus square root of 3 minus x is 3 by 2 that is upper limit by 2 but here it is integration 0 to pi by 2 log of tan x dx we got it is 0 so every time you want to get upper limit by 2 sometimes it may change so remember that so what is that what is that i am saying it is 
the given integral value uh, what we got it is zero so shall i go to the next one guys next one we started at uh, Okay, often now 20 minutes. As yes, another 20 minutes are there, so shall we? Uh, let us try to cover more problems, guys. More and more problems. Yes, this is what you have to show, guys. You see, this is also a previous question. Uh, evaluate, evaluate integration 0 to pi by 4 log of 1 plus tan x dx is equal to pi by 8 into log 2. So evaluate integration 0 to pi by 4 log of 1 plus tan x dx is equal to pi by 8 into log 2 pi by 8 into log 2 you see look at the problem feed into the mind such a problems you have to solve by using using properties of definite integrals that should be identified as these problems these kind of problems you have to do by using properties that that your mind to uh, mind should tell us then then you can half done half done so as a integral first letter is i so i am taking given integral as a, what i am taking given integral as a, i that is i is equal to 0 to pi by 4 log of 1 plus tan x dx 0 to pi by 4 log of 1 plus tan x dx now lower limit is 0 and upper limit is a constant so you can use the formula so every form problem i am writing the formula you see this is a problem this is a formula that we are used in every problem integration 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integration 0 to a f of a minus x dx that is at place of x we are writing a minus x that is upper limit minus x only when lower limit should be zero and upper limit must be constant so that is the, uh, that is the case now you see i is equal to 0 to pi by 4 1 plus tan of tan x at place of x you have to write pi by 4 minus x if it is 90 then tan 90 minus theta cot theta but your upper limit is pi by 4 that is tan pi by 4 minus x so we have no nothing that sin 90 minus theta cos theta cos 90 minus theta sin theta tan 90 minus theta cot theta cot 90 minus theta tan theta but uh, here not 90 you are having tan pi by 4 minus x so go uh, now let us use the formula tan a minus b what is tan a minus b tan a minus tan b by 1 plus tan a into tan b tan a minus tan b by 1 plus tan a tan b now at place of a you are having pi by 4 and at place of b we are having x so tan pi by 4 that is 1 minus tan x by 1 plus tan pi by 4 into tan x tan pi by 4 is 1 so what will get 1 minus tan x by 1 plus tan x so this is answer 0 to pi by 4 log of 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 minus tan x by 1 plus tan x are you getting are you getting use of the formula tan a minus b tan a minus tan b by 1 plus tan a into tan b where a is equal to pi by 4 and b is equal to x that is tan pi by 4 is 1 so you get 1 minus tan x by 1 plus tan x take lcm and simplify you get integration 0 to pi by 4 log of 2 by 1 plus tan x log of 2 by 1 plus tan x it is of the form log a by b what is log a by b log a minus log b log a minus log b so let us go to the next slide to see what is what it is yes integration 0 to pi by 4 log of 2 by 1 plus tan x dx 2 by 1 plus tan x dx that is log a by b is log a minus log b so log 2 minus log of 1 plus tan x dx 1 minute guys s yes. log a by b is equal to log a minus log b therefore it is 0 to pi by 4 log 2 into 2x uh, log 2 into dx minus 0 to pi by 4 log of 1 plus tan x dx but what is 0 to pi integration 0 to pi by 4 log of 1 plus tan x dx is our said integral i so i am taking it as i if minus i to that side you will get 2i and 
log 2 constant dx integration x upper limit minus lower limit so log 2 into pi by 4 minus 2 minus 0 so 2 to this side you will get i is equal to pi by 8 into log 2 that is my answer so given integration 0 to integration 0 to pi by 4 log of 1 plus tan x dx is equal to what we got pi by 8 into log 2 we got it as pi by 8 into log 2 are you getting so this is the problem you can see one more time i am saying you uh, you have to show pi by 2 into log 2 yes you have to show it so just take it as a i and next use the formula here tan 90 minus x then cot x but here tan pi by 4 minus x you have to use the formula tan a minus b tan a minus tan b pi 1 plus tan a tan b and a is pi by 4 and b is x and tan pi by 4 is always 1 so simplify you got the answer log a by b is log a minus log b so i is equal to you got pi by 8 into log 2 pi by 8 into log 2 yes now let us quickly move to the next problem so that we can cover more problems so this is my seventh problem evaluate integration 0 to pi x by 1 plus sin x dx x by 1 plus sin x dx look at the problems and identify the problems that you have to do such a problems only by using properties of definite integrals so given 0 to pi x by 1 plus sin x dx so given integral say it as a i so i is equal to integration 0 to pi x by 1 plus sin x dx that is equation number 1 this is equation number 1 i is equal to integration 0 to pi x by 1 plus sin x dx now next one now use of the formula lower limit is 0 and upper limit is a constant so you can use the formula i am writing it in every problem you see you have to remember the properties or formulas what is that says integration 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integration 0 to a f of a minus x dx so if lower limit is 0 and upper limit is constant at place of x you can write upper limit minus x so integration 0 to a f of x dx is integration 0 to a f of a minus x dx so at place of x now you have to write upper limit minus x that is pi minus x so integration 0 to pi pi minus x by 1 plus sin of pi minus x sin 180 minus theta is always uh, sin theta sin 180 minus theta means 180 minus theta means second quadrant second quadrant all silver teacups in sil second quadrant sin and cosec is always positive so sin 180 minus theta is always a sin theta so you got 0 to pi pi minus x by 1 plus sin x itself so for a pi i am writing separate term and for x i am writing separate term so i is equal to integration 0 to pi pi by 1 plus sin x dx minus integration 0 to pi x by 1 plus sin x dx so sin of pi minus x sin of pi minus x is sin 180 minus x sin 180 minus x is a sin x itself but what is this this is our said integral i so put it is a i so this is i so what you got pi constant outside 1 by 1 plus sin x in denominator you are having plus so rationalization with 1 minus sin x by 1 minus sin x so multiply and divide with 1 minus sin x and this is a minus i minus i to this side you will get 2i 2i is equal to what you got 1 into 1 minus sin x 1 minus sin x and 1 plus sin denominator you see denominator 1 plus sin x into 1 minus sin x that is a plus b into a minus b that is a square minus b square that is 1 square minus sin square 1 square is 1 1 minus sin square 1 minus sin square is cos square x so what do you what will get finally 1 minus sin x by cos square x dx 1 minus sin x by cos square x dx so that's what uh, so 2i is equal to pi into integration 0 to pi 1 minus sin x by cos square x dx are you getting a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square 1 minus sin x into 1 plus sin x 1 minus sin square x that is cos square x that is a cos square x now separate 1 by cos square 1 by cos square is x square sin x by cos square can be written as sin x by cos x 
into 1 by cos x sin x by cos x tan x into 1 by cos x is sec x so it is what you got integration 0 to pi sec square x minus tan x into sec x so pi into integration of sec square x you, you see standard formulas always useful you have to remember the formulas integration formulas integration of sec square x dx integration of sec square x dx is tan x and integration of sec x into tan x is sec x so that is pi into tan x minus sec x 0 to pi so 2i is equal to pi into upper limit minus half lower limit tan pi that is sin pi sin pi by cos pi sin 180 is 0 therefore it is 0 minus sec pi sec pi means 1 by cos pi that is 1 by cos pi is minus 1 1 by minus 1 is minus 1 so 0 minus half minus 1 minus lower limit 0 tan 0 tan 0 is a 0 minus sec 0 that is 1 by cos 0 1 by 1 is 1 so minus into minus plus 1 minus into minus plus 1 so what will get 2i is equal to 2 pi therefore i is equal to pi so i is equal to pi is our answer are you getting guys just this is the problem which is repeated many times so i want to revise it so evaluate integration 0 to pi x by 1 plus sin x dx so take the given integral as a i take the given integral as a i so you get 0 to pi x by 1 plus sin x dx is a i that is equation 1 now use of the formula we have to use this formula integration 0 to a f of x dx is integration 0 to a f of a minus x dx where a is an upper limit so 0 should be constant and lower limit should be 0 that and upper limit should be a the constant then you have to apply the formula at place of f of x you can write f of a minus x now at place of x you can write pi minus x and sin pi minus x sin 180 minus theta is a sin theta since all silver teacups in second quadrant or uh, in second quadrant sin sin and cosec are positive therefore sin 180 minus theta is sin theta so pi by 1 plus sin x and x by 1 plus sin x but x plus x by 1 plus sin x what we said it is i so i am putting i and in this denominator 1 plus sin x so rationalization 1 minus sin x by 1 plus sin x so you get the answer so a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square so cos square you got one man one by cos square sec square x and sin by cos square is sin and x into sec x use of standard formulas remember the standard formulas integration of sec square x is tan x and integration of sec x into tan x is sec x so upper limit minus half lower limit that gives answer i is equal to pi i is equal to is it is a pi so these are the problems that we covered are you getting so i think it's enough problems we covered is the time left for us if time left let us take one more so i think at about only five to six minutes are there so in this five minutes so so let me cover uh, these are the problems uh, of this type so let me cover one more questions shall we cover let me cover try to cover a one more question so let us take another problem in this five minutes and try to cover a one mark questions how they are going to give a one mark so basically one mark questions are giving in the uh, only the property integration minus a to a integration minus a to a f of x dx is two times of integration of zero to a f of x dx uh, if f is even and integration minus a to a f of x dx is zero if f is odd this is zero case i am gi already given two problems now let us try to give more problems first two, two problems i given on same property that is integration minus a to a f of x dx minus 2 plus integration minus a 2 plus a minus 2 plus f of x dx where f of x is odd function then the value is zero so on the same point let us try to give a few more let us try to give a few more where it is One minute, guys. Yes, yes. Ah, yes. Yes. Let me continue. <coughs> yes, you see. You see this. Uh, evaluate integration minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4 log of 1 minus sin x by 1 plus sin x 
second problem integration minus 1 to 1 log of 5 minus x by 5 plus x dx third problem integration minus 1 to 1 log of 3 minus x by 3 plus x dx fourth problem integration minus 2 to 2 x into square root of 7 minus x square dx and fifth problem integration minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 x square into sin x dx you see you see the problems how to identify whether the given function is even function or odd function at place of x substitute minus x that is f of minus x again you will get f of x same function if you will get if replace x by minus x then also you will get same function that for example x square is there at place of x put minus x so x square I am putting minus x that is minus x all square minus x all square minus into minus plus x into x x square therefore again you will get x square so if you get the same function by replacing x by minus x that is an even function that is a even function and if you if you want get that is f of minus x is equal to minus of f of x if you minus comes outside if by replacing x by minus x from total function if minus get outside then we say it is odd function for example f of x equal to x if at place of x you will get minus x then you will get minus x that is minus into function f of x x cube x power of pi x power of 7 all these are odd functions now from that put at, at place of x put minus x what will get the sine of minus x sine of minus theta is minus sine theta so minus comes outside from this one minute one minute before homework let us finish this so this is an odd function 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 this is also an odd function or uh, this is a even even into odd even into odd is again odd odd into odd even even into even even but if one function is odd function and other function is even function then product of even and odd or odd into even is again odd function and if you these four problems put at place of x minus x the minus sign comes outside and same function comes therefore these all are odd functions and they these are all from minus a to a minus 1 to 1 minus 2 to 2 minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 or minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4 so all these are of the form integration minus a to a f of x dx where f of x is a odd function therefore all above functions are odd functions so answer is 0 for all these integral values are 0 are getting all the values are zeros these are the one more questions repeatedly came so what you have to simply write this integral value is 0 since the given function is odd function this integral value is 0 since the given function is odd function that's what you have to write that's it guys nothing here so as time is left for two three minutes that's why i want to cover this these are the very simple and they are one more questions itself so let us try to give a homework today homework so so before homework what to do read the properties practice all problems understand the steps understand the logic behind how we are solving the problems understand it practice all these eight problems then understand uh, uh, once you are able to understand then go for a homework so what is this homework homework is simple like even very simple you see integration of 0 to pi by 2 square root of sin x by square root of sin x plus square root of cos x so take this as i and uh, apply the property 0 to a f of x dx is 0 to a f of a minus x dx lower limit is 0 upper limit is constant take that as equation 2 equation 1 plus equation 2 gives answer answer is pi by 4 i am telling before itself i already such a problem already i mm, solved in the video so answer is pi by 4 i am coming to the second problem evaluate 0 to pi by 2 log of cortex dx take this integral as a i equation 1 and apply the property 0 to a f of x dx is 0 to a f of a minus integration 0 to a f of a minus x dx so you get I equation 1 plus equation 2 that gives answer cortex into tan x is 1 log 1 value is 0 therefore the value will be 0 so first one the answer is pi by 4 and second one the answer is 0 so after solving after practicing the given 
exercise problems that is already solved problems the read the properties do the practice the problems that we covered in the video then try to do the homework problems that's it guys thank you thank you very much so next class we are going to deal with areas area under the curve using integration we are going to solve be ready for that until then bye see you thank you see you tomorrow bye stay home stay healthy